Good evening, friends. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. So I was not here all last week, so I am so excited and so grateful to be back doing my lives. I definitely miss them. I actually did go live while we were in Houston at the on stage event with Stampin' Up. But besides that, I have not gone live. And today has been a hectic day. Yesterday was a hectic day. And Sunday, the whole week has literally been hectic. Um, the, Houston was amazing. The event was phenomenal. We had so much fun. And yes, I did get the catalog. Um, I left it in the house. I literally just realized that it wasn't on my desk as soon as I was getting ready to hit go. And I didn't want to run in the house to be late for the live. But I do have it in hand. It is amazing. A little bit different. They kind of structured things a little bit different, but change is always good. So I'm excited to wrap my brain around all of the new changes, but I am excited to get the catalogs in everybody's hands. Um, look for an email within the next couple weeks on if you want them bound or not, because I do offer that. And if you don't know what the binding, the having it bound is, it's the spiral binding. So when you open it, it lays flat which I will never have a catalog that does not lay flat. It drives me crazy when I'm at a page and then I go to do something and then the book closes, drives me nuts. So um, check for an email within the next few weeks on that option. I can't order the catalogs till the beginning of April anyway, so we're not quite in any rush. Let's see, what else? My flight was delayed on Sunday. I got to see my girlfriend Heather at the airport, which was nice. I got a hug and she walked me down to the baggage claim. So I got to do that. Monday, I had Lucas. We went and did yoga. And then today was a day in the craft room. I have an upcoming retreat that starts on Thursday. And I have been in a little bit of a hot mess. But things are looking up. The um, RV garage is completely set. It is ready to go. I have a little bit left in my craft room that I need to take out there. And hopefully, I can get that done on Wednesday or Thursday morning. It's super not, it's not super tragic. So pretty much 100% done. And I don't know if I've been 100% done this early in a very long time. So thanks to my friend, Christina, I did make her sign a piece of paper before she came over saying if she tripped and fell and broke her neck because I was in such a hot mess, I wasn't held responsible. Just kidding, I didn't really make her sign it, but I did tell her if she broke her neck, I wasn't gonna be held responsible because it was a hot mess in here for a while. But now all I have left to do is wipe my table down and sweep them off the floor. Anyway, good evening, everybody, and welcome. Hello, Heather, welcome. If you're just logging on, say hi so I know you're here. I know I did a lot of talking, so let's point you over and we are going to start crafting. So I wish I had my catalog to show you guys what the cover looks like. We can't show the inside of the pages yet, but I can at least show you what the cover is. But I left it on my dining room table and I didn't realize it till I was hitting go. But my pre-order just arrived as I was getting ready for my live. I have not opened the box yet. So maybe this weekend we can start looking at the things and playing. So today's card. At first, I was a little skeptical of the card design that I chose. Not the design, the colors that I chose. And then it really started to grow on me. And I actually really, really love it. So you might not like it at first, but if you make it, it will definitely grow on you. I'm using the hot air balloon and I'm using just a note to lift you up. Um, that is all the stamping that I'm gonna do. But we are using this set in the retreat this weekend. And once you play with it and you realize all of these two step stamping stuff, it is actually phenomenal. It is so gorgeous on paper. Okay, so that's the bundle I'm using. And I did bring in the basic border dies. And we are using this little die that kind of looks like clouds. So that's what I'm using. And then for the balloons, I am using the large balloon, this little centerpiece, the little banner, and the large baskets. 
So those are the four dies that I'm using. I already pre-cut these, but I have not pre-cut this because I wanted to show you how to do it. So those are the dies and stamp sets. Let me bring in the paper. So I don't know if you saw on my Facebook post that I took a picture in front of the glimmer wall. I definitely need that glimmer wall in my craft room. Anything Glimmer screams my name. So I pulled in the online exclusive Glimmer paper. So you have the white, you have the old olive, and you have the berry burst. So I am actually using all three colors. So you're probably thinking, this sounds a little crazy. Yes, it is, but I'm using all three of these colors. And you can tell I've used it a lot because there's lots of scraps in here. And then the designer series paper, I am using is the Mega Pack um, Delightfully Eclectic 12 by 12. You get four sheets of each of these designs. I have used a lot of this paper. I know the July retreat, I focused on this designer series paper. Um, I'm doing, I think my name tags out of the designer series paper this weekend with it. So it is just fun and beautiful and I love the bright colors. So that's all the paper, the stamp set. Now let me show you the card. Hopefully you guys don't fall out of your chair because it is a little bit different. The colors are very bright and bold. There you go. Just a note to lift you up. I really thought about getting something like this in the mail that all of these colors and stuff really would lift me up because they're so beautiful together. So this is what I'm gonna show you guys how to make. Okay, let's get going with what you will need. So I have a piece of our thick basic white and it measures five and a half by eight and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter. Usually 99% of my cards are eight and a half by five and a half. So we can scooch that to the side. I have a piece of old olive. This is four by five and a quarter. The designer series paper, three and three fourths by five. Usually when I do cards, I'm pretty sure everybody has gotten this little tidbit from me. I like having the border around. So if I'm using designer series paper and cardstock, these are the measurements I tend to go to. A lot of people like the eighth of an inch, but my brain doesn't work on the eighth of an inch, so I just go with a quarter of an inch. We have all of our pieces for the balloon. So I cut the large balloon out in the old olive, the basket in berry burst, and then it's hard to see because all of these little pieces are on the inside still, but this is um, the little banner that goes across. And I did put the adhesive sheets on the back of this. So we just have to do a little poking out. And then the little banner in Berry Burst as well. Now this is the piece is the magic. So this is three and a quarter by three and three fourths. So three and three fourths wide, it's the same width as your designer series paper, and it's a three and a quarter inch tall. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna scooch this over, bring in my embossing machine. I have my plates right here. Get the letter out of the way. And now we are going to die cut this. So it really doesn't matter which part you use on this die. I am just going to line up like this little point up in the corner and this little indent right on the side. That looks perfect to me. I did not measure when I did these, I just guessed. We're gonna run this through. And I didn't have to tack it down because it wasn't super wobbly. 
Let me get this out of the way without dropping it. And this is what we're left with. So we're gonna peel off the bottom and that is going to give us our little clouds looking border. And you can use this as a scrap or you can throw it away. I'll probably just throw it away. Before I attach this, just to make sure I don't have to cut and run another piece, I am going to stamp my sentiment. Just a note to lift you up. There we go. And then all that's left is to glue this pretty card together. So let's see. Let's start with gluing this piece down first. Here we go. Just going to tuck that into the corner. And yes, you do lose a little bit of your designer series paper. I wasn't too worried about it. I think it would have been harder to cut this at an angle and then just have a little smidgen left over. So I say just use the whole thing. It's just paper, friends. And you get four sheets in this pack. So really, we're not wasting anything. So now I'm going to glue this down. I'm only gluing this piece down first just so I can kind of let that stick together a second. Give it a good press, make sure it's together. And then we can glue this. Perfect. That's how easy this card is to put together. There is a little bit of die cutting, I won't lie, but it really isn't that hard. So now I'm gonna just come in and it didn't work for me earlier. Usually when you take off the backing, it pulls all the stickies out also, but it didn't work either, earlier either, so. And I use pieces of, um, my sheets, my adhesive sheets. So usually it comes off in one big piece and now it's not. I didn't realize that until I cut all of them and I was like, oh, we're not gonna cut them again. So we're just gonna pop all of these little pieces out and I need to grab a little tool so I can get the rest of them. And I tried to do redo this for the other two, but it was taking off the sticky and then I was getting irritated. So maybe we'll only be making two cards, this one and one more. Because these little things keep sticking together. But the only reason why I did this is our glue doesn't stick to glimmer paper. So I was thinking if I put the adhesive sheets on the back of this, and use dimensionals on the banner, maybe I could fake it to fit, to stay, to stick. <laughs> Whatever I'm trying to say. Okay, there we go. Get it all stuck to my fingers. So this is going to go right here. Give that a good press. And then I'm gonna grab mini glue dots and I'm gonna put a couple mini glue dots on here. This, I think, is what's going to help hold down that other piece. And the mini glue dots are a smidgen too wide, but I just folded them over if they were hanging off, and I'll show you in a second. So you can barely tell that it's hanging over, but just squeeze them kind of together and you won't be able to see them. There we go. Let's flip these over. And then we're gonna add some dimensionals. There we go. And then these edges fit right on that guy. So now we can pick these up and put this down. So it is a little bit different. 
but I think it will put a smile on somebody's face and it will definitely lift somebody's spirits if they got this card in the mail. That's my thinking. Okay, let's make one more. Just because this little booger is probably not as complicating as I'm making it, but I'm doing a live and literally I feel like sometimes things always go wrong when you do a live. So we're just gonna go with it. But I think if you make this at home, it's really not gonna be as tragic. And if it is, you won't have people watching you as the tragic, the tragic, I can't even say the word, is happening. There we go. Yeah, this is definitely looks harder than it should be. See, that came off pretty good. And maybe with the new glimmer paper, I did see somebody say that our Tombow will work on our new glimmer paper. I haven't tried it. If you have, let me know if it does work and then we don't have to always use that, the adhesive sheets. Okay, Whew, got that done. Okay, so there is that. And now we can start working on our card. <laughs> the stupid things won't come off my fingers. Okay, fold our card base. Give it a good crease. Add our glue. Perfect. I think I did this a little backwards, but that's okay because I still need to stamp my sentiment. So it'll give it time to dry so I can finish the balloon. So try to stamp your sentiment before you glue this together. In case you get a blob, you can fix it. Perfect. There we go. Pull that down just a hair so you can cover up that paper. And now we can use our dimensionals. Glue these down. And then, oh, there it is. And then we'll just put the banner on at the end. I think it's something different. It's a very colorful, very cheery, and thinking outside the box. I don't do that very often, so I'm glad it came to me today. There we go. We have one more, but I think you guys got the gist. I'll make the other one later. But here are the fun uplifting cards. These guys I'm gonna find everywhere now because they have the sticky on the back of them and they won't come off my fingers. So there you go. Using a couple different sets in the catalog. I don't remember if I saw the basic borders in the new catalog. So if you don't have them, it is definitely worth investing, especially if you got the hot air balloon, because I think these pieces worked perfectly together. And I've actually used um, the basic border set quite a bit. So it is definitely a fun set besides this card. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight's live. It didn't last very long. I actually thought it was going to be a little bit longer than it was. And I chatted a lot in the beginning. But you will not see me on Thursday because that is when the retreat starts. And usually we're ordering dinner or just getting ready to sit down to eat dinner at 7 um, on retreat weekends. 
So I won't see you guys again until next Tuesday. Maybe I'll pop in and say hi while we're all at the retreat. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. And it gets a little crazy and fun. So hopefully I don't forget. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. If you need anything at all, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see many of you guys this weekend and then the rest of you guys on Tuesday. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.